first morning of the Great Oz Ibex hunt, and I'm sucking wind already, so. Got about an 80-year-old guy leading us up the hill, so maybe I can keep up with him today. Finally made it up here to the first spot. We're gonna kind of sit in glass a little while. Not not too bad a walk. Just it's typical in the mornings when you live in a low country like we do, and you get up here a little bit of altitude. It's kind of hard on the legs first thing. But I'll kind of show you out here. We're glassing over these mountains. We've seen some red deer on the other side, and uh, you can hear the the red stag roaring this morning. Probably can't hear that on video, but you know it looks like we're gonna sit here just a little while in glass and uh, look for. Uh, Gretos Ibex, which is what we're hunting this morning. So we're here in the Gretos Mountains in central Spain. Day, day one, we've climbed, I don't, I don't know, maybe 1,500 feet or so this morning. I think I'll check when I get back to the truck to see what the difference is between here and the truck. But uh, this, the group of Ibex I filmed earlier is about 12 uh, males. One looks to be uh, what we're after. We're after a silver medal. We want one in the older age class as well. So. There was also another group of about uh, seven or eight younger males that fed up next to them and actually they've all bedded down. So uh, we're hunting in an area now where there was a fire from a lightning storm a couple years ago, I guess. But uh, they say the Ibex like to eventually feed into this area because of the fresh grass, not unlike elk or mule deer or anything in the west. So well, uh, we're just going to hang out here really. It's so open, as you can see, there's nothing to hide behind, so you really can't. Too many eyes watching us, so we have to just kind of find a place to hunker down and uh, hope they move into our, uh, hope they move into an area where we can make a play on one later. If not, we'll be climbing back up here again tomorrow, so 
Hopefully we'll get some action here in a little bit. This rock wall here is the border between two of the provinces in the middle of this national park. See the rock wall. manpower to build that long, long time ago. All right, it's day two in uh, Spain for Grito Cybex. We got back late, got back to the truck last night right at dark. I was whooped. We had a long day, covered several miles. Uh, saw quite a few Ibex, but then we did see the one we wanted to go after, but they just weren't in a place we could get to them. <clears throat> we were running late, uh, kind of in a hurry yesterday morning, so we didn't get to stop and actually shoot the rifle. So we're setting up now, we're gonna do that. Uh, we got a little later start this morning. Now we think we know where the Ibex are. We won't have to. Didn't have to get in there quite so early, but uh, <coughs> Val setting up a target. Now we're going to shoot here in just a minute. So get on back on up into the hunting area in a minute. We'll um, do some more video. Maybe we'll see some red deer and some uh, fallow deer on the way up. <coughs> en esta semana mismo se ve que él estaba de vacaciones Ya, me niro. Que os vengáis. Vamos a comer un bocadillo hoy. 
muchas gracias Jesús. O sea, que no, yo ya esto, no lo veía esto, bien. Esto es un favor muy grande que me has hecho. No, hombre, yo, yo lo porque entiendo. No, Valeria, no. Es, es que no, no había otro. No, we didn't get to film the shot, but we got one today. I kind of messed up an opportunity on one while ago, so. Anyway, yeah. Uh, the number? Number? Jesus. 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 Got us on another trophy Ibex from the Gretos with Val Bellas. Great trip. Great trip. <laughs> My legs were too heavy. So I had to sleep late today. Dile que muchas gracias. Que ha tirado muy bien. He says thank you very much. Ah, thank very you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. This is the best medicine. Uh, yeah. The rest is the stupid things. Ese que va a allá de si a rodea, no, yo lo dejan de tirar. Ay, qué raro, eh. Porque nos ven y verán poca chicha. No, lo que hay una tira así, se han desconfiado. ¿eh? A little bit of a camera malfunction there right after the shot, but we, uh, we got on the ibex we were looking for. Seems to be a 12 year old. Uh, 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 the vultures are coming in already. I think they heard us shoot and they know we're coming, so that gut pile won't be there long, but. Uh, Yeah, from Kaferra. Oh. We got it done. We get down here. Got the, the guys went across the canyon there to get the get the ibex. So get back down here to the truck and get up with those guys and show you show you this Gretos ibex up close. So uh, I'll be right back. We made it back to the truck where the guys brought the eye back. I can show you up close. Look here. Oh, Beautiful animal here. Twelve-year-old Gretos silver medal Ibex. We're gonna eat a quick lunch here. Yeah, cruces. Set him up, take some good pictures. Pero ese es el partido. Lo ve, no lo niega. El gracioso. Papá será. Papá será. Ni el fútbol sí. O era antes. Cuando era chico. Cuando era. Beautiful animal in a beautiful place. We got him set up good for pictures here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, st stop and take a break and eat lunch. Just uh, kind of hate we didn't get any shot footage, but things happened here quick in the mountains. It was the uh, animals were the animals knew we were there. They, uh, they knew we were there. The uh, bit of a language barrier. You don't have time to be messing around with the camera because the most important thing is to make sure you shoot the right one. So I uh, thank the good Lord for being able to come up here another day. Yesterday was a hard day. Today, pretty easy. But I guess you, it all balances out. Uh, 
we'll take some more good photos here in a little while but appreciate y'all watching and hope to bring you some more of this stuff in the future we'll be getting doing a lot of other hunting so keep keep an eye out on our channel and subscribe if you like it um, we're a long way from hollis farms but uh couldn't ask for a more beautiful place to do a hunt so glad you guys have come along Los dinero que 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 hay. Take a look at this here. Y'all seen our sawtooth oaks that we plant at home. These are chestnut oak. Say so they open up in the fall. <clears throat> I assume the deer and everything really eat them. They're just loaded with chestnuts. Pretty cool to be halfway around the world and see them planting trees and managing the wildlife the same way we do. So. I came by this earlier. This is a, I guess what they call a ranch king in Spain. But uh, see up there, looks pretty nice. Got it built up in the, up in the limbs of this old oak. Kind of in an area here that has the, see the chestnut oaks there. As long as all, as well as all these other native oaks, are a lot, a lot like our white oaks at home. But. Uh, Val. Jesus. Nice fallow buck there with a lot of females. Really nice one. Boy, it's beautiful. They're hanging out there bedded just under that oak tree. So Might be a good reason to come back one day for that. Thank <laughs> you.